got started in blogging really just um, coming out of the deep depression. Um, I used to work at um, a BMW dealership and when my salary was cut I decided to actually go and purchase a store. It was my first big break owning my own store. Uh, it was a boucherie so um, you know it, it was a sense of pride. But then it all started collapsing and um, I had to make the toughest decision of my life and that was to close. Uh, my father gave me a call one afternoon and he says, you know what, forget your pride, think about your bottom line, think about your pocket. And that's when I made the decision to close my store. Uh, while I took a break, uh, there's a big gap in my life. There's this big hole. Um, I've always been in school. I've always been taking classes, doing something. And for the first time in my life, I had nothing to do. So I went back to New York, try to reconnect with my sisters. I try to reconnect a little bit where I grew up. And in that in itself, it, it, it gave me a sense of, um, you know, you like to write. So I came back to Montreal and I started writing about cars on LinkedIn. I started writing about business, my experiences, do's and don'ts, and it just evolved. I was getting emails after emails. How do you do this? How do you open up a corporation? And I mean, it just evolved into something else. But at this point, um, traveling back and forth to New York, I discovered my, my true passion, which is really just about fashion. So in New York, I noticed there's a lot of designers, a lot of brands that didn't have the exposure, didn't have mainstream exposure. So I come back to Montreal and expose them. You know, uh, I was rocking things that a lot of people didn't even know existed. And the same thing in Montreal, actually going to a lot of Montreal fashion shows, I noticed there's a lot of, lot of designers that had no PR, no marketing. So I used my blog as a way to give them a little bit of exposure. And that blew up, so hence the name Slayed It New York. So when you're walking down the runway and you're strutting your stuff, you are slaying. All right, so that was one year ago. For to today, uh, my blog has actually evolved. Um, I have a new series called Patrona's Weekly Top Picks. Uh, we shorten it to Patrona's Picks for TV, yes. We will be on breakfast television. We are being segmented in hopes of hopefully our own fashion show. Uh, so that's what it is right now. My number one key for success is definitely go with your gut feeling. Don't ignore your gut. If you walk into a business meeting and your gut feeling tells you this is not the one, this is not it, walk right out. If you, you know, as a vlogger, if you wake up one morning and you had to write that piece and, you know, you wrote it maybe three weeks ago and you feel like, you know what, it's just not going to work, don't post it. So that's my number one advice.